Dear students, this is a continuation video of the previous lecture on the topic partial differential equations. We are finding the partial differential equations by eliminating the arbitrary function. So here it is given that z is equal to f of xy by z. So let us mark this given equation as equation 1. So from this we have to eliminate the arbitrary function and hence we have to obtain the corresponding partial differential equation. First of all as the first step we have to observe how many functions are given in this equation. We see that there is only one function given in this equation. So we have to differentiate this equation partially with respect to x and then partially with respect to y. So first step is we have to differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to x. So what we get is, so differentiation of z partially with respect to x gives us do z by do x which is equal to the differentiation of f is f dash of x y by z and since we are partially differentiating with respect to z this y by z will be treated as constant and the differentiation for x is 1 so f dash of x y by z will be multiplied with y by z and we have already seen that do z by do x is equal to p so do z by do x can be equated to p so what is do z by do x this one so this can be equated to p so what we get is f dash of x y by z multiplied with y by z is equal to p so from this we obtain f dash of x y by z to be equal to taking this y by z to the right we get z p divided by y so let us mark this as equation 2. So this is equation 2. Now in a similar way we have to partially differentiate equation 1 with respect to y and we have to obtain uh, the same. So let us do that now. So when we differentiate z partially with respect to y what is what we get is dou z by dou y is equal to the differentiation of f of x y by z is f dash of x y by z multiplied with now since y is treated as uh, because we are differentiating partially with respect to y x by z will be treated as constant and so when and the differentiation of y is 1 so we have to multiply it by x by z and we already know that dou z by dou y is equal to q so this can be equated to q and from this we obtain, so what we obtain is f dash of x y by z is equal to taking this x by z to the right we get z q divided by x. So this can be marked as equation 3. So this is equation 3. We observe that from equation 2 and equation 3, we can equate both these, these two equations. So, zp by y will be equal to zq by x. So, let us do that now. So, by equating these two equations, we get zp by y is equal to zq by x. So, z and z gets cancelled. And from this, we get px. So, cross multiplying is equal to qy. And we observe that px minus qy is equal to 0. So this is the required partial differential equation. Hence we have obtained the required partial differential equation. Now we shall do a third problem of the similar kind. So now here we have the third problem. The question is eliminate the arbitrary function from z equal to x plus y plus f of x y and hence obtain the corresponding partial differential equation. So first of all let us mark this given equation z equal to x plus y plus f of x y to be equation 1. So what is the first step? We have to differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to x. 
so we obtain dou z by dou x to be equal to the differentiation of x is 1 plus the differentiation of y is 0 because y will be treated as constant when we differentiate this partially with respect to x so this becomes 0 plus the differentiation for f of xy is f dash of xy multiplied with we have to apply chain rule method we have to differentiate xy so here y is treated as constant and so differentiation for x is 1 so it will be multiplied with y and this will be equated to p so from this what do you obtain we obtain y multiplied with f dash of xy to be equal to p minus 1 taking this one to the other side so therefore we obtain f dash of xy to be equal to p minus 1 divided by y so this can be marked as equation 2 in a similar way we have to differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to y and so we will be up we will be obtaining dou z by dou y to be equal to uh, here we have x plus y so now we are differentiating partially with respect to y x will be treated as constant and so the differentiation of this becomes 0 and the differentiation of y is 1 plus the differentiation of f of xy is f dash of xy multiplied with x because y is treated i mean we are differentiating partially with respect to y and the differentiation for y is 1 and x is treated as constant so it will be uh, we have to multiply with x and this will be equal to q and from this what we obtain is x multiplied with f dash of xy is equal to q minus 1 so taking this one to the other side we get it get it as q minus 1 and from this we obtain f dash of xy to be equal to q minus 1 divided by x and this can be marked as equation 3 now we have to compare equation 2 and equation 3 and so on equating equation 1 I mean 2 and 3 we get so p minus 1 by y will be equal to q minus 1 divided by x now we will cross multiply on both the sides I mean now uh, this x will be cross multiplied here so x multiplied with p minus 1 is equal to y multiplied with q minus 1 and from this we obtain xp minus x to be equal to yq minus y bringing everything to the left hand side we obtain xp minus yq minus x when this negative y comes to the left side it becomes plus y is equal to 0 so this is the required partial differential equation so hope you have understood how to obtain a partial differential equation when a function f is given in our next video we will learn how to find a partial differential equation when two arbitrary functions are given in the equation thank you